Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today we're filming in East Stroudsburg in Pennsylvania in the USA, and we're gonna be doing an in the bag video. But before we get started with that, let's take a quick look at some of the sticks that I'm using. So the one that I've been using for quite a long time is gonna be Zeal's PK1000. The reason I'm using this stick is because of its performance. Because of what we do making all of these videos for you guys, we get to use a lot of different sticks from different manufacturers. And the performance of these sticks over here has stood out to us, and it's why I'm still using Zeal after all of this time. But aside from that, the other reason I'm using Zeal sticks is because not only can they make a stick exactly the way you want it in terms of your curve, your flex, it's a case of the fact that this stick has been built specifically for me. Not only just its performance features, but also the way it looks. It has the hockey tutorial graphics, it has our logo on it, it even has our mission statement on the stick to remind us about why we make these videos and what we're trying to do. So if you've not used a Zeal stick before, check them out. Not even for the customization side, just for the fact that they make phenomenal sticks. Make sure you check them out. But from there, before we get into the bag, let's take a look at the bag. Now the bag that I'm using over here is Grits Airbox. Now the name kind of gives you an indication about what this bag's about. It's about airflow. The entire outer shell of this bag that you can see that's see-through is made from a durable cut resistant mesh. Now what that means is of course, first per benefit or perk is you can see right through the bag, which I think is sick. But aside from that, it means that the bag breathes even when it's closed. Now, I know a lot of players can be lazy. You get back from training late at night or you're tired. You know, you don't really have the energy all the time to take all of your equipment out and air it out the way you should. So you might leave it in the car overnight inside the bag, or you might just throw it into the garage or something like that and let the bag kind of sit there. But the benefit of having one of these is because of that mesh design, the whole bag breathes even when it's closed. Now, I'm not telling you to leave your equipment in your bag. I'm just saying that this bag is phenomenal at airing your equipment out if you do get a little bit lazy. In my opinion, the Grit Airbox bag is the best hockey shoulder bag that you can get out there today. And it comes in a variety of different colors. I picked red because it matches my equipment, my skates, the, uh, you know, the hockey tutorial logo, and I love it. First thing we're gonna kick off with is gonna be the skates. So the ones that I'm using at the minute right now are the CCM Jet Speeds. I love the performance, I loved the fit, I liked how they felt on the ice, so I stuck with them, simple as that. I still do have my VH skates, but I've been using these for quite a few months and I really like the performance of these, so I've just stuck with them. Uh, one thing I would like to see um, CCM do with these jet speeds over here is uh, give us perhaps a more comfortable tongue. But besides that, that's my only constructive criticism on this skate. The liners have held up great. The boot itself has held up great. Love the performance. Uh, one upgrade that I did make was with the steel. Now I have Massive Blade over here, which is a high quality premium steel that you know, it's able to keep your sharp in a little bit longer because of the, um, the, the type of steel that's been used. But aside from that, it sits a little bit higher than your traditional or conventional steels that you find on skates, which means that you're a lot more maneuverable. You just feel more comfortable and more agile on the ice and it's why I've stuck with it. But what they do, Massive Blade, is they also offer um, steel in different colors. So you can get black, blue, um, soon you'll be able to get red. That's what I'm waiting for. They also have gold. So depending on what you like, it just gives you that element of being able to customize the look of your skates a little bit more with different colored steels. But something that I have inside my skates before I put them away is gonna be something that you don't really get to see because it's hidden in the toe cap, and that's power foot. Effectively, they are foam inserts that go um, into the toe box of your skate and sit at the top. And what that does is that it gives you a much more comfortable fit. It eliminates any of that negative space that you get inside the toe box of skates because you find that your feet are kind of rattling around in the toe box because they're not made um, to, you know, to be very, very low profile and sleek. So there's always unnecessary space inside there. But these power foots help to keep your toes planted to the base of your skate. Now, when you put these things on, I'm not trying to say that you're gonna be able to skate like a Vetchkin just like that. That's not what they do, but in terms of your comfort, you're definitely gonna notice that your toes are way more comfortable. If you have like skates that may be a little bit too big for you, these are also great at combating that. But aside from that, it adds to your comfort on the ice, keeps your toes planted to the base of the skate. So you are gonna notice a slight increase in your performance. Um, your speed, your agility, your you know maneuverability, all of that is gonna be benefited by using these. So if you don't know about these, there'll be a link down below in the video description. Adrenaline power foot is what they are. So if you don't have these, make sure you check them out. Moving on from there to the gloves. So the gloves that I'm using right now are STXs. I have two pairs of gloves inside my bag. I'll explain why shortly. But um, I loved STX gloves. These particular ones are the World Cup of Hockey colors. That explains you know, why you might not have seen these on their website or somewhere else. But I like their gloves. These are the Sergion 500 gloves. They tend to have quite a close fitting um, style of fit. Um, and it's why I really enjoyed using these particular ones over here. The other pair of gloves that I have, uh, again, in my opinion, Warrior Hockey make the most comfortable and the 
best gloves that you can get out there. These things are phenomenally protective and phenomenally comfortable. They even have a um, cuff that is breathable. You can see the mesh over there and it's completely maneuverable. So you get a little bit extra protection and crazy comfort inside these gloves. Uh, but I love these gloves. They're red. So depending on what jersey I'm wearing, if, it's, um, if the color scheme works better with red gloves, I use these. If the color scheme works better with blue, I go to those. So that's why I have two gloves and I've gone with Warrior and STX because in my opinion, these are the most comfortable gloves that I've used. And from there, next bit is gonna be my helmet. The particular helmet I have with me right now is gonna be the CCM Quick Light. Now, I like this helmet because I was using the CCM Resistance before. Great fit because a helmet, don't ever judge the type of helmet that you get based off of what it looks like or you know what pro is using it. Go for the helmet that fits your head the best because this is about protecting easily the most important part of your body. So make sure you get something that's gonna protect you and fit you correctly. And the CCM uh, line of helmets has always fit my shape of head very, very well. So it's why I stuck with them. The resistance has a lot of features that I like with adjustable straps for the inside of the helmet. It's incredibly comfortable um, and I like it. I'm also using the CCM visor. Uh, this came with this particular helmet that I have over here, but it's great because it features um, a nice locking system to hide away the bolts and screws that attach the helmet to the visor, which has worked very well for me. So it's, it's why I've been sticking with this for so, for so long, but I love CCM's helmets, very protective, very comfortable. And now the new visors are pretty cool as well. Next bit of equipment we'll take a look at is going to be my shoulder protection, my shoulder pads. So these are Reebok's 18K shoulder pads. I've been using these for a while just because they're low profile, which is what I like, very protective. And I like the chest protection that you get over here because these are solid piece that protects your, um, the center of your chest, which is a very, very important part of your body to have protected. Um, you know, protection, regardless of what level of hockey you're playing at, it's critical. So this is why I like these because they're low profile, very, very protective. And I wash these um, on a regular basis and they've held up very, very well. So it's why I've stuck with them. Next bit of equipment is gonna be my elbow pads. Big fan of what CCM produce. Um, these elbow pads have been pretty good at staying in the same spot. Uh, normally I find elbow pads really move around. They drop down to your wrists, which can be really annoying, but these haven't been too bad. So I've really liked using them. And again, very low profile. Uh, you don't really notice they're there, which is why I like these ones so much. So I've stuck with these. From there, it's gonna be the shorts. Now the shorts that I have over here are again, Reebok, CCM, same company. These are the 18K shorts again, because it's all down to what fits you as a player. And I found that because of my waist size um, versus you know the length of my legs, these have been the most comfortable shorts that I found. Again, they offer me a good level of protection for the level I play at. We play checking hockey back in the UK. So it means that you know you need to have protective equipment that's gonna be able to protect you if you take a big hit on the ice. And that's why I've gone with these because they protect me. Same with the rest of the other equipment that I've had. I've not really had um, too many bad injuries from getting hit. So that's why I like these ones and very, very comfortable. With shorts, I don't like strings or laces. I prefer to just have a tab. And that's why I prefer these. The, I find the laces just get in the way and if they rip, it's just irritating. So I've stuck with these. Really comfortable, very protective. We'll move on to my shin pads. So the shin pads that I use are Bauer. These particular ones over here, I believe are the 1.4s and I tend not to use leg tape. So I found that these, once they're done up, they stay in the same place that I put them, which is why I, I've stuck with them. You know, they're not top spec by any means. They're probably um, low and intermediate to maybe entry level, but they're comfortable, they're protective and they stay where I put them. So that's why I like to use them. But something that I use in addition to these, which is over here is speed hockey now what these are i posted a, a video clip of these on instagram a few weeks ago and um, these are a protection for your calves now a lot of people were saying that why don't you just get a pair of leg pads that will protect the back of your legs now one thing i find is that once you find a pair of leg pads that are comfortable and that fit you right you're not going to change even if you've had them for 20 years 10 years you're going to stick with them so long as they're not broken you're going to stick with them and what i don't want to have to do is replace these and find you know, ones that I have to break in that are super uncomfortable, that are super stiff, just to make sure that my calf is protected. And it's why I like this thing over here, because you can use it with any leg pads. And it goes onto the back of your leg, underneath your leg pads. Once it's on there, you don't even feel it while you're skating around. So Speed Hockey make this in a plastic, which is what this is over here. And they also make it in a carbon fiber. So if you're looking for something with a bit more protection, a bit more lightness, then you can go for the carbon fiber edition. But the plastic one, it's, it's super light. It's you know no more heavy than a pair of hockey socks. So it's phenomenal. And it means that you don't have to worry about the back of your legs getting hit with a slap shot or something like that because I've taken a puck to your calf and I've been off the ice for about three weeks because of it. So if I'd had these then, 
I wouldn't have had that issue. So if you've not seen these and you play hockey and you're trying to get serious with the hockey and you don't want to have something silly like an injury kick you off the ice, make sure you check these out. There'll be a link down below in the video description to where you can get them. And if we can, we'll also include a voucher code down below so you can save some money while you buy these. But they're inexpensive and they're phenomenal. Speed hockey. Make sure you check these out. So next up, while we're talking about stuff for your legs, is I said that I don't use tape. The reason I don't use tape is because it, it just annoys me. I never remember to buy any. I'm always that guy in the locker room asking for a spare roll. So uh, what I was fortunate enough to find is these. Now these are from the same uh, people that make the power fit. So these are from Adrenaline. And what these are, are power straps. So instead of using tape, to um, tape your um, legs up to make sure that your shin guards don't move or you know that your socks stay in the same place you can use these velcro straps instead which means that you know these go inside your bag you never have to be that guy asking for a roll of tape and you know you don't have the irritation of having to rip the tape off throw it in the bin these are reusable so it means that you're also saving the planet be green these things are good and they feel just the same as tape they hold your legs your leg pads and your um, socks securely and it means that you can reuse them so check these out power straps the link will be down below in the video description if you want to see more of these. So next up is going to be Under Armour. I've been using Bowers 37.5 liner and this stuff, it's not a gimmick. It's pretty expensive for Under Armour, but the way it works is that the harder you work on the ice, the harder the liner works to keep you dry. So it's it, there is a, a significant difference that you'll notice. You'll step off the ice after a hard session and you're not going to be as wet as you'd normally be because this thing works at keeping you dry and light. Now what I'm using for the bottom half of my Under Armour are Adrenaline's pants. Now what I like about these is that the tabs that you attach your socks onto have been moved from the fronts to the sides, which makes so much more sense because it's easier to put on. Normally you find yourself kind of bending over in awkward positions trying to attach the socks to the back of the Velcro pads. So attaching them to the sides makes it easier. And if you're a younger player, it also means that you can get um, ready much, much easier and much quicker. So it just, it makes sense. That's why I've liked using these. And the biggest benefit of that is it relieves your socks from being pulled and strained. And that's the first thing that you notice, that pull, that tug that you get when you try and bend your knees with your um, uh, socks attached to the, your, uh, the Velcro on your pants is completely eliminated because it's on the sides. We're gonna have a full video on Adrenaline's new products coming out very, very soon, which includes their pants, which is um, referred to as their power jock, and also their power straps. So there's gonna be a video explaining all of the benefits of these um, coming very, very soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But if I move that over to the side, last thing inside my bag in terms of equipment is going to be the hockey tutorial jersey. Now, this is easily, of course, my favorite jersey. It's our jersey. I love it. So if you like our jersey, you want to show us some support, you can pick up your own. And on the back, you can see I have my nation flag, which is Kenya. I have my name and my number. You're able to customize these with your own details. So there'll be a link down below in the video description to be able to get one of these. But hopefully, if you like it, you want to support us, then you can rock the HD colors in style. You've also probably noticed that all of my equipment isn't from the same manufacturer. Now that's not because I'm loyal to one brand more than another, it's because when I'm picking equipment, I go for what is the most comfortable and what's gonna be right for me, rather than caring about who it's made by. So don't be a gear snob. Don't say that you only skate in Bauer or you only skate in CCM. Use other brands because you might find that that one brand you've been ignoring for all this time has the equipment line that fits you the best, gives you the most confidence on the ice and lets you play the game to the fullest. Thank you for checking out my In The Bag video. Now what I'd like to ask you to do is show me what's inside your bag. What equipment do you use and why? If you don't want to film a video, you don't have to. You can just do it with a picture. Take a picture of your bag or the equipment lined up. Let us know what you're using and why. You can post it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Just make sure you at Hockey Tutorial and hashtag Hockey Tutorial so we can see it and we'll repost our favorite ones on Facebook, Twitter and also on Instagram. And as always, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and check out all of the other videos that we'll have alongside the screen there. Thanks for watching guys and take care till next time. But before you go, please hit that subscribe button.